Welcome back to my show. I'm The Beer Adventure. And I'm dreading drinking another IPA. <laughs> this one, however, is from uh, Trader Joe's. Now, thanks to one A of... A cheap IPA. <laughs> thanks to one of my <laughs> subscribers that reminded me, El Jefe, uh, 1974, um, he said this is not Boatswain, which after he said it, I went, oh my gosh, yeah, it's Bosun's. This is the American. Say it right. Yeah, the American IPA, boy, six point seven. Right. We're all learning here. Yes, it's a learning experience. Thank you, LFA. Ooh, it smells good. I, for instance, am going to learn how bad an American IPA is. American IPA is basically. I'm pouring myself more because he's not going to like this near as much as I will. I do like the head color. Yes. Um, this is more of a kind of going to be, well, it should be a little bit more malty of a uh, pale ale as opposed to just. One of the things that I really enjoy in a beer is that caramel colored head. Yeah, most definitely. It is definitely hop forward though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, big gulp, no air. Is that how you said to yeah. do it? Okay, here we go. When you take that little bitty sip with a lot of air, you're going to taste a lot more of the esters of hops. Okay, that was tolerable. Hmm? Not my favorite, but it wasn't horrible at all. Okay. Okay, I'm there. I'm with you. Yep. That is what, to me, is coming out to be a more traditional American IPA. There's a little more malt to it. Um it does have hops, but they don't tend to be quite as piney. Yeah, that's what they're I was going to say. They're a little more citrusy. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like a little, pine forest or a pine cone. I don't do know, know about the citrusy, peppery. but it definitely it has more malt in it. Yeah. Like, um, it's almost thick like a mm -hmm. syrupy mm -hmm. malt liquor. Mm-hmm. What? It's hops in a malt liquor, dog. Dude. Um, mm-hmm. I'm confused now. Okay, now it's going to have a little more of that toasted, like that comes in one of like the reds. What? You know, they fired up CERN the other day, and now yeah. I'm like in an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> We're in an alternate reality. You like an IPA. Uh, you know what? I do have a studio audience, and uh, Carissa is sitting way over here. I'm going to let her give that a little taste. That is. Now I'm seeing that she's smelling it. I smell bald. She smells malt. That, that, I don't know if y'all can hear her. I smell malt. I taste malt. It, yeah. It's it's uh, beautiful. I like American IPA. I like traditional IPAs. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. She got the, wait, what's that? Yum. Like, that's a that's a beer with flavor, and it's an IPA that didn't that make me dread drinking it. Yes. That is pleasant. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to shout out to uh, Crypto Mailman on this one because we talked about IPAs the other day. I'm gonna link you to this video. Again. Excellent. Um, okay, like I've been turning more of my friends on to American IPAs. That's why I saved this for a filming day where there's quite a few of my co-hosts here uh, because I think the era of the crazy for no reason IPA is starting to taper and they're starting to make ones that are gonna taste really good for the average consumer instead of the crazy ass hop head, the guy that only drinks the uh, beer to prove to you that he drinks the crazy beer. These are gonna be made more for people that enjoy a fuller flavor beer. Right, Now Definitely. There are gonna be guys that are gonna drink six of these in a row, but oh, this but is that. the guy this, this beer right here, this is the guy that you have one of these while you're having some food, and then you progress into something a little lighter, and after like four or five of the lighter beers, you grab another one. You know how malt liquors taste like they just dialed up the malt and dialed the hops down, mm -hmm. right? And then IPAs kind of taste the other way around, like they right. dial the hops up all the way. This thing is like both of them are dialed up to about six. Yeah, and what they, seven, to maybe. me, what they did was they dialed up the top and the bottom and eased the middle out. Maybe. It just seems more, it's balanced, but it's balanced heavy, I guess you could say. Like, yeah. Like there's a lot on both sides. They just kind of up the ante. But it's done well. I mean, it is balanced, though. Think about it. It's six, seven. So they did. They just kind of, they just kind of took this. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. They just kind of took this one beer and just kind of went. Burp. 
That's amazing. Mm -hmm. See, this I is dig the joy it. of beer is that you'll find one. And here's the other thing. Don't think because it says what it is that that's what it is. I know that sucks, but it'll say like, okay, they, they make a double IPA that Carissa didn't hate. She liked their hazy IPA much less. So it's this particular company or is it the American style that does this? That this is what the American style of IPA is. It's a little, it's a little more malt. Yes, more malt. Okay, in general. So yeah, in no general, way. but you'll get one that somebody will. I can't tell you how many double IPAs that I've had that didn't really seem like they were double IPAs, and how many IPAs that I've had that were full fucking double IPAs, because that's one part of the thing with all these ones where they win. Awards. The thing that wins the award for a pale ale is usually basically an IPA, and the one that wins for the IPA is a double IPA. And so they just kept going <laughs> harder and harder and harder. Well, now they're starting to back off and make more drinkable beers. And yeah. Trader Joe's has these made for them, and they want to sell a boatload of them. So they're making more drinkable beers. Thank you for finding that limit, guys. Yeah. I think sometimes I we need to stop off. asking, Shh, can we, and ask, should we? And it's so th this beer. is okay. Yeah, it's see, good drink good beer with good friends. It's a good beer. If you'd like this uh, shirt, I can't believe I'm saying that about an IPA, but I told you you were gonna like that. Beer. Now, if you're enjoying this video, uh, hit me with the like button. Um, if you hit subscribe, you will be greeted three times a week uh, with our videos. And have you ever had an American IPA? Yeah. Which one have you tried? Now, it is a little bit harder to find information on some of these private label beers, but what I can find, I will put down in the uh, description. You'll also find my links to the social media and my merch store where you can get a shirt like this. And I've got a couple more shirts that should be coming out soon. Uh, they also make stickers of them and all sorts of, basically, if I think it'll go on there, I say make it because I don't have to warehouse it. <laughs> uh, so if you want a, this on them, a framed picture or matted, or, you know, it's, it, they, they get all kinds of stuff. And uh, Take anything, your pick. anything I make money on, I'm just going to spend on more beer. So that's pretty good. So let's get down to it. Did you dig it? Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, she's shaking her head yes. Okay, would you have another though? Yes. I would. Look, I don't, I, I don't even want to admit it, but yes. Okay, this one does have some seekability because it is a Trader Joe's beer. So you can find it at Trader, Trader Joe. Joe's. Now, you can do it in pick sixes, and I highly suggest it in a pick six. I mean, unless you're an IPA, IPA fan, fan, and then go, then go ahead and have get six. six of them. Uh, now, on a scale of one pint to ten pints, where are you at on this? I'm like an uh, eight. Whoa! I don't want to say that. Whoa. Like, I want to make it a seven, but I because I can't or you believe I'm giving an IPA anything okay. more than that, but it's really fucking good. I was at an eight because <laughs> I like it. It's full flavored. And dude, it's from Trader Joe's. It's gonna be cheap. What about you, Carissa? I got two scores for it. Yeah? Oh. As a beer, it's a seven. Okay. As an IPA, it's a nine. Damn! Wow. Okay. So average is to eight. See so, yeah. yeah, look at that. So uh there you have it, folks. Go out and try this one. Bosun. American IPA. It's a good beer. Let's talk about it in the comments. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.